Hi, good morning, Bible Revival, Nick Greta. I'm uh, secretly coming in the sanctuary today because I wanted to give silently and not in front of like a lot of people. I, I know I feel like Clint Eastwood in the good, the bad, and the ugly, but this is a gift. We have a missionary here that services and needs blankets for people who are cold at night that work at the racetrack behind the scenes. They're jockeys and trainers that work opposite of the grandstand. And that's uh, our pastor, uh, Chaplain Pete, his ministry at the Tampa Bay Downs, the racetrack, very popular here in Florida. So he needed a collection because their ventilation system, the heat only works a little. These men are from Mexico or Latin countries and they're used, it's chilly for them. So he did a drive, hence my blanket, which I'm giving in secret. And they're making a collection. It be, because of James chapter two, verse 14. What good is it, my brothers, if someone says I have faith but does not have good works? Can that save? Can the faith save him? If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food, and one says to them, go in peace, be warm and filled, without giving them the things needed for the body, what good is that? So also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. And if you have faith, you have works. So give, I'm giving anonymously, of course I'm on film, but it's all about the right hand, not letting the left hand know, so you don't have to go boasting like we've spoken in the past. Of course, if you do great deeds in front of someone, the flip side of that is your goodwill and you will shine for the Lord, they will see your action, so either way, it's great but to give silently and quietly to those who need the basics is love. Like the good Samaritan on the road um, helping the poor guy who was injured. Okay, take care, have a blessed season. It's better to give than to receive as we know. And um, again, it's not about gift miss, it's about Christmas. Okay, Merry Christmas, spread the word at your dinner table this holiday season, and you'll see the people who call back and say, can you tell me more about the Bible? Okay, take care, Bible Revival.